now that the Grammy Awards have passed, it's time to spotlight one of the most important pre-Grammy events when it comes to music. While the Clive Davis party on Saturday night, February 11th, certainly brought out the celebrities, it was the Merit Awards celebration that honored the music and its most influential musicians. The Allman Brothers Band, Glenn Campbell, George Jones, the Memphis Horns, Diana Ross, and others were all honored with the Recording Academy Lifetime Achievement Award. Greg Allman talked about what the Merit Award for Lifetime Achievement means to him. Man, this is like the pinnacle. You know, we're here with all my brothers, and uh, I mean, we, uh, we, you know, each night after we play a song, I mean, you just feel that warmth, and you can feel that the love and the respect and all that. And this is, we're going to walk out of here with a little something that you can look at, and it'll remind you of all that. What could be better? We also asked country legend George Jones about getting recognized. It all came sudden and everything. It's just, it's been a wonderful career. And uh, what a thrill to be, you know, remembered even this late, this uh, age and time that I'm living in. And it's good to know that uh, you're still remembered by the, uh, of those, you know, and, and to get a chance to be out here is a big thrill at my age to, to accept the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. And we're just happy. We're still active in, in country music. As Allman mentioned, he accepted with his brothers in the band, and here are some of their thoughts. You know, aren't you a little young for this sort of thing? Quite. <laughs> when, uh, when I got the call when, and they, they told me about the award, I just, I immediately go, I'm really excited for the guys. <laughs> you know, they've been together 40 years. I've, I've been in the group for 12 years now, and it's been a, it's been a great run. But I, I really do feel like it's just an honor to be a part of the legacy at all. And, uh, you know, it's about Dwayne and Barry and, the, and Dickie and the original guys. And, um, you know, we've, me and O'Teal and Mark and Warren have had a, a big hand in keeping it rolling, but the original groundwork was certainly laid long before we were uh, playing music or breathing, <laughs> some of us. So, um, but yeah, I, I feel like at 32, there's a lot of work to be done. I joined the band 22 years ago, which in most bands would be a long time. In this band, it's, it's half. <laughs> um, you know, I was such a huge fan, uh, and I would vote for the Allman Brothers to be to get a Lifetime Achievement Award, even if I never met the guys. You know, because uh, it's not a coincidence that that I wound up in this band because I think someone who was as big a fan of the music as I was would is the, the right person. You know, uh, I'm a fan from the very first record, and I'm really proud of the guys, and they they couldn't deserve it more, and I'm honored to be part of it. Man, it is so great to be included, and, and I'm grateful and honored and flattered. Uh, we had golden years together, as you know, in the 70s with the Brothers and Sisters record and the subsequent tours that we did for the following four years. Uh, it was an honor to work with them now. Uh, then. It's an honor to be here now to uh, be included to accept this, and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, quite an honor. So what do you think... Uh... Uh, I was just thinking, like, uh, Grammys. Grammys are cool, but I walk by, I'll walk walk past 12 of them to get to one Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> and, it's, and it's appropriate because this band has really had a, an incredible journey over a lifetime. You know, they met in their early 20s, and with my father's, you know, energy and passion to find musicians that he could really, you know go on a journey with and make music where they could all really express themselves and, and make something new. And the fire of that, the, you know, the sort of energy of that initial meeting has just carried them through to 40 years long. And they're playing with a passion and a love with, with Derek and Warren and Mark, you know, with a renewed kind of vigor that is every bit a part of that legacy so it's really beautiful to be here with past members and current members and to see the legacy continue it's just it's a great honor my father would be so proud